Hello everybody, and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at several mods from The Snake over at kingmods.net. But before that, this video is brought to you by Farm Alls Forever and Steve Sanford. Thank you for being farm barons. So The Snake is a mod author that is publishing his mods over at kingmods.net and at this point he has about 20 or so production mods over there for farming simulator 22. i've been keeping an eye on his work he had some work where it had some issues those issues have been resolved now it looks like in some of the latest updates and he has updated his main cell point placeable to allow the selling of many of the production mods that he has available so I thought now is maybe the time to kind of do a little bit of a modder profile on several of his mods. And one of those we have right here is called the garden. And the garden is kind of an extension of the greenhouse, but it's not going to be found under the greenhouses. It's going to be found under factories. And it is basically going to be a key mod to many many other production mods that he has set up because of the, the types of things that this particular facility is going to produce. Matt, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Right here, we have the plant factory. And the plant factory is going to produce all kinds of things. First off, it's going to produce plants and it's going to require water, seeds, and pallets, actual pallet input. So we're going to take a look at the pallet factory also here in a little bit. But the plant factory is going to produce plants, mustard, tobacco, pumpkin, apples, oranges, plums, cherries, lemons, chili peppers, caffeine, cucumbers, watermelon, melons, and cinnamon. All of those inputs can be used in other productions of the snake. So we have then our pallet spawn point right here, and we just have a whole bunch of cinnamon spawned in here at this moment as you saw 250,000 liter is the max input and 250,000 liter is the max storage capacity of all of the outputs i will have a link to his profile over on kingmods.net down in the description below and i don't think i need to say this but since this is available over kingmods.net all of his work is pc only so here we have the pallet factory. And the pallet factory is going to accept logs and it's going to convert it into pallets. So we have our log dump station right here. We have our wood cell icon right there. Then we have our interactive icon around the side here. And we're going to take four units of logs and make 10 pallets of that. 400,000 liters is the max capacity and 400,000 liters is the max output. And here we can see we have stacks of pallets. A lot of his factories are going to require pallets as an input, as we saw over with the plant factory. And then we have, and I've heard this requested before, a yogurt factory. So this is just one of the dairy buildings of the base game. It's been made into a yogurt factory. Around the side we have our spawn point for our pallets of yogurt we have our interactive icon and our dump station around back as far as yogurt goes we take three units of milk three units of sugar and we're going to make 10 units of yogurt 250,000 liters max input and output on that one then we have the well, let's skip that one for a moment we have the mccain potato chip factory Right, base game, we don't have anything that will take potatoes and convert it into something else. So we have the McCain Potato Chip Factory. We have the dump station for our potatoes. Also, pallets and canola oil are going to be accepted at the Potato Chip Factory. We have our interactive icon here at the front door. Four potatoes, one unit of canola oil, and one pallet is going to produce 10 chips. And then we also have the ability to make a puree. Not really sure what a puree is, 
but basically the recipe is the same or I I know what puree is, but I've never seen a potato puree. I don't I don't understand that. But at any rate, whatever. We have the ability to make two outputs out of this factory, chips and puree. It takes the same recipe to do both of that. And then the pout spawn point is around back. And here we have pallets of chips. Again, 250,000 liters is the max input and output. Then we move on to a fish factory, or a, kind of a fish farm, if you will. So we have our dump station for our empty pallets. This will also take corn, four units of corn, two units of pallets is gonna make 10 units of fish. This is pretty cool because we've got, you know, little ponds here with fish in them. We have a worker working away, cooking up, sprilling up some fish. And then we have our pallets of fish located right there. But we're not done because we can take our pallets of fish if we want and now move them over here to this caviar factory where we're going to bring fish and pallets and we're going to get out caviar and canned fish. So three fish, one pallet is going to make 10 units of caviar. Three fish, one pallet is going to make 10 units of canned fish. Once again, 250,000 liter max capacity. And then we have our pallets of caviar or canned fish located right there. Now, one thing that kind of held me up on doing a lot of these videos or a video on a lot of his stuff is that when he first released a lot of his items, there was only one place to sell them here on Elm Creek, and that was over at Goldcrest Valley. And whenever I tried to sell pallets at Goldcrest Valley by putting them on the train, they never sold. Well, what he has done is he has made a marketplace sell point that you can put down that is going to accept a vast majority of his products. And that's what we're going to see right here. Now, let's go and take a look at the prices screen. And we're down here under the production. You can see in our caviar, you have Goldcrest Valley and the market sell point, which is what you see directly in front of us here. So for the placeable items that we have put down, we can sell caviar. Canned fish is only at Goldcrest Valley. So I'm hoping he's going to update that to add canned fish to the marketplace here. Fish is going to be at the caviar factory or marketplace in Goldcrest Valley. Plants. Mustard, tobacco, pumpkins, apples, oranges, plums, cherries, lemon, chili pepper, caffeine, cucumber, watermelon and melon still needs to be updated. It looks like cinnamon is something new. I think he's got some other productions in the works. Chips, puree is, is kind of a, an abandoned product at the moment. I don't think you want to make that one. Pallets is going to be available for sale all over the place. And yogurt, there you go. So what I have is I've taken and put on here several of the production outputs that we have gotten for this particular video. And I wanted to demonstrate selling those just like that. And as we talked about, canned fish is not accepted here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these here in the build mode. So if we go under production and factories, we have the caviar building right here. As you can see, we can freely rotate it on its center. $150,000. We have the fish farm for $75,000. It rotates a little forward of center a little bit. The green garden that we talked about and it rotates kind of on this shed the cane potato factory it fully rotates the pallet production and the yogurt factory 
freely rotates like there. And then we're going to come down here to selling points, and then we have the market sell point located right here. Now, I will say, as far as the log goes, the log is error-free. We do get a large amount of warnings when we pull up the marketplace, and that is because the marketplace is configured to accept a whole lot of other inputs also, like ketchup, Pepsi, cigarettes, canned, canned vegetables or canned fruit whiskey vodka i'm not sure what room is marmalade juice cider energy drink brandy and coffee and since we don't have things that produce those fill types and those aren't registered fill types we're just coming up with warnings that uh, they are not kind of valid fill types when we pull this up but it won't affect your gameplay whatsoever but those other fill types give you a little bit of an indication as to some of the other production that the snake has products available for. Overall, he has, for example, martini, ketchup production, egg production, fish production, caviar production, the potato chip factory that we looked at, the garden that we looked at, coffee production, drink production, marmalade production, whiskey and rum and vodka distillery, a canned production, cigarette production, Pepsi production, yogurt, pallets, flour, and then a carpenter. And all of those are for Farming Simulator 22. And there you go, guys. I just thought I wanted to kind of give a little bit of a modder profile in The Snake. And his mods posted over at kingmods.net. And they have been cleaned up fairly well. Now that we have a placeable sell point that is going to accept most of the products that he is producing mods for, we do have a way of selling the products that we are producing for the most part. And that is one of the things that really held me up in making a video up to this point is a lot of his production had been out for a little while, but they didn't really have a way to sell the item being produced and at that point it's like why make it if you can't sell it right well this placeable marketplace is going to allow you to do just that so go ahead and give him a look over at kingmods.net and just be sure that you are downloading all of the mods you need for all of his complex production chains so until next time happy farming